All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the very, very mediocre, some might even say disappointing, Saiyan Day celebration is finally over. And today marks the beginning of a brand new campaign on Global that hopefully is better than the previous one was. But let's be honest, the bar here really isn't very high. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out all the details of this brand new AGL Android 13 campaign on Global together. But before we get into that real quick, I wanna address this thing right here, which is the April Fool's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan race announcement from yesterday's video. And as I was going through the video, I thought it was pretty clear, pretty obvious that the whole thing was a joke, but for some reason, some people thought that it was legit, they thought it was a real announcement, and a few people after the video messaged me telling me how excited they were about this new kart racer mode that was coming to Dokkan that they learned about from my video, which is awesome, but also I feel really bad. I do want to apologize to anybody that thought that because clearly it was a joke, even though in the video I talked about it as if it was real. That was clearly just me playing into the joke, so if you're one of those people, I feel bad, I'm sorry, and uh, Bandai feels bad as well. So what they're gonna do is give everybody 17 Dragon Stones to make up for our disappointment, which is actually really nice. That is a solid amount of stones, and we're also gonna be getting the new Int Youth Bulma, the April Fool's unit for this year, and uh, a new event to farm her orbs for free and rainbow her. For free. Now this unit is actually very very solid. I do recommend everybody to get her done, especially considering she is a free rainbow. And uh, at some point tomorrow I might be hosting a stream to farm her with you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, the rest of this announcement basically is just all the updates that they gave us yesterday for that exhibition race. So I'll just give you guys a quick scroll here for anybody that missed it. And the winner in the end of this exhibition race ended up being, wait for it, almost there, the Youth Bulma. So there you go guys, another Dokkan April Fools in the books. I think Bandai did a pretty good job with this one. And uh, once again, sorry to anybody that thought it was a real thing. It was definitely a joke. But that being said, I do think it's a really good idea. And even though it doesn't make sense for it to actually be, you know, a separate mode in Dokkan since it's just so different, maybe one day Bandai can actually develop a Dragon Ball Z, you know, kart racer style game for mobile phones. I mean, just something to think about. I think it would do pretty well. I think there is a big crossover between Dragon Ball fans and also people who like Mario Kart. So, yo Bandai, just make it happen. Come on, you can do it. Anyways, that's all I'll say about the topic. Let's get back to this uh, Android 13 campaign here. And here we go. So it's called the Extreme Clash Ultimate Power Up Campaign. Not really sure where they come up with these names, these titles, but it is what it is. And also it says Goku's the target. Cooperate with the androids to launch, launch an attack. Um, Extreme Clash Ultimate Power Up Campaign is on. Various events are here, including new SSR Android 13, will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Once Dokkan Awakened, Android 13 can transform into Fusion Android 13 when the conditions are met in battle. In addition to login bonuses, a new story event, a new Dokkan event, a new Extreme Z battle, and a new legendary challenge campaign will also be available during the event period. Come join the event and enjoy Dokkan Battle. So it looks like there's gonna be a lot of new stuff with this campaign. It's already sounding like a better celebration than Saiyan Day was. So uh, let's check it out, guys. So first things first, we have a login bonus, pretty standard. We have some special missions, pretty standard as well. As far as the Dragonstone sales go, they are very trash. Just one 32 stone pack and three 91 stone packs. So a very, very disappointing stone sale right there, especially for pay-to-play players like myself. And uh, yet another reason to not really spend too many stones if you're gonna summon at all on Android 13's banner. Um, if you guys want a comprehensive breakdown of the unit as well as the banner from JP, then go check out my previous video talking about the whole um, 
you know, Android 13 celebration. And I think in general, a lot of people are going to be skipping this banner just because he's not a very hype unit. But that being said, as I've said many times in the past, he is a very, very good unit. Okay, so here's the banner. And we got the Android 13 as well as the Fizz Trunks. And there's the Dokkan Festival, but also a Dokkan Festival Ticket Summit. Interesting. So it looks like this banner will have some tickets that most likely will be available through the Pilafs Trove. And I might actually pick up those packs just to test my luck a little bit. Maybe see if I can pull the Android 13 without spending any stones. That would definitely be ideal. So maybe the summoning video will literally just be me like spending 10, 15 tickets pulling the Android 13 and calling it a day. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. And is it likely to happen? Probably not, but anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay, moving on, we have the Target Goku Category Summon, which you can just throw in the garbage. All right, don't even look at it. Pretend it doesn't exist. Category banners are just awful. I hate them. Do not summon, guys. All right, do not summon. Even if they're discounted, it's just not worth it. It's not worth your stones man i'm getting so heated right now okay don't do it moving on we have the extreme clash packs which is basically for the tickets for this ticket banner here and also a elder kai banner which seems to be the standard for every celebration these days so if you guys need elder kai's there's an option and also the fusion android 13 at dokkan event gotta have that next up we have the new super android 13 story event with the free to play, I believe, Android 14 and 15, and uh, some free stones there. So, pretty sweet. And also, the return, of course, of a few story events right here Wrath of the Dragon, and also the Bio Broly event. And as far as the legendary campaign goes, it's gonna be for the LR Cell. And this is actually the first time, the first time that we have a prime battle or uh, legendary campaign where I don't have the prime battle LR done. For some reason, usually I grind out these guys like first two or three days they release, but this one I just didn't do. I don't know why, maybe I was busy around the time or maybe I wasn't that hyped for first form of cell, but uh, for some reason this dude is not done for me. So we'll see if I invest the time and the keys most likely to get him done before the actual campaign starts for those extra 10 stones but uh, I'm gonna say it's not likely so most likely I'm gonna miss out on those and uh, probably just gonna get those 20 stones during the campaign which is still okay so anywhere between 20 to 30 free stones on the way for everybody if you guys have first form cell done already then congratulations uh, props to you I don't have him done, so <laughs> there it is, man. Legendary campaign for first form cell, pretty awesome. Next up, we have the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival, um, a transform transformation boost category summon, and also Extreme Z Battle Challenge Pack. I don't know why they show these things before the actual announcement for the Extreme Z Battle. So obviously, it's for AGL Super Vegito, which is what everybody expected, and uh, I I've been looking forward to this guy for a very long time, mostly to run him together with the. EZA Fizz Vegito Blue. So that's going to be a super fun rotation to run. All those counters flying everywhere. It's going to be madness. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for a showcase for that. But uh, yeah, guys, so all these things I pretty much just ignore. I mean, I just feel like these banners are really not good value. And uh, of course, another category summon. And also the Extreme Z Battle Challenge packs. Just not worth your money in my opinion. That's just me though. So we have the Extreme Z Battle for Super Vegito. Um, really, really hyped for this one. And we also have Extreme Z Battle available permanently. Interesting. Okay, so this is the the Cell Extreme Z Battle. Oh, so we're getting the Extreme Z Awakenings for these two androids right here. I believe this is the AGL Android 18 and the Int Android 17. I could have the typings wrong. So I apologize for that, but we have two new Extreme Z Awakenings for 18 and 17. You guys know how much I love the androids, especially 18, so that's pretty awesome. And also the return of a few, or reopening, basically it means that these Dokkan events will be available every single day during the campaign. So we have the LR Cell uh, Dokkan event, as well as the Super Vegito Dokkan event. And finally, the last thing for this celebration or campaign is a new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Battlefield 
And uh, of course, that's just the thing that happens every single month, so no surprises there. And there you go, guys. That is the Android 13 celebration. Now, there should be a second part to this campaign, which is starting, I would assume, in like two to three weeks, which uh, will feature the AGL Spirit Bomb Absorbed uh, Goku, the LR Goku, along with a double rates banner. So if you guys are looking to hunt for some LRs, that could be a good opportunity. Although I wouldn't really recommend it because I think you should save your stones for the five year anniversary, but that's up to you. And let's take a quick look at the special missions. So in total, we're getting 27 dragon stones from the missions and uh, your other standard stuff, training items, orbs, all that good stuff. And yeah, I mean, pretty standard here, five stones. Was that five? No, that's three Three stones at the end. One stone for doing five Dokkan events and then one stone daily. Okay, so nothing too awesome here, nothing too exciting here. And as far as the login bonus goes, I assume it's just one stone a day. Yep, one stone a day for the entire campaign. Okay. And uh, is there anything else? Ooh, new character added to the Bob Shop. Interesting. So starting from... April 1st, additional character entries will be added to Baba's shop, increasing the number of times available for exchange by 5 for the following characters who can be exchanged for with Incredible Gem. Interesting. Interesting. So we're getting some new characters in the Baba shop. Um, Alright. Uh, nothing too exciting. I mean, none of these are great, but if you guys are looking to complete your collection, there you go. You can go ahead and buy them with Incredible Gems. And is there anything else? I don't think there... Oh, actually... Yeah, the last thing I want to address here is uh, that glitch from yesterday that I talked about. The um, missions that gave us dragon stones for using 50 stamina as well as filling out a unit's hidden potential grid. And they were obviously not supposed to be there, but for some reason when you used 50 stamina, we were able to clear these like five random missions that all, all they said was 50 stamina or ACT 50. And uh, there you go. So Bandai finally addressed it, finally removed it from the game. Hopefully you guys were able to take advantage of it before it got patched out. And it uh, looks like no compensation as far as stones go. I wasn't really expecting anything though because, I mean, we were getting free stones. I just feel bad for the people that didn't take advantage of it, weren't able to get, it, get to it in time. Um, it would have been nice for those people to get the, you know, seven or nine stones or whatever it was that people were able to get for free through the the bugged missions so there you go guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys are excited for this upcoming campaign it's i, I mean uh, to be honest andrew 13 obviously not very highly anticipated by a lot of people but the other events the supporting events are pretty good and i'll at least say that it is a better celebration than saying day was so I mean, that's something, right? Anyways, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.